Okey, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh dan selamat sejahtera. So, uh, in this video, I would like to discuss about how to draw an orbital overlapping for a molecule that have a combine uh, that have a lone pair. Right? So, let's look at this example. Let's say you want to describe the hybridization in ammonia molecule which is NH3. So the first step is you need to draw a Lewis structure. So you have to follow the step in drawing a Lewis structure and finally a correct Lewis structure would be like this. And we have three hydrogen. So the first step is we draw a Lewis structure. The second step is we need to identify the number of sigma bond and lone pair around the central atom. So for this example because it's only have a single bond which is have a sigma bond sigma bond and sigma bond so we can conclude that nitrogen has three sigma bond or nitrogen can form three sigma bond plus one lone pair so to determine the types of hybridization we have to consider the number of sigma bond together with the number of lone pair because the total is 3 plus 1 which is equal to 4 so the type of hybridization is sp3 s1 and 3p become 4 and supposed to be the shape supposed to be tetrahedral this is the basic shape of the electron pair arrangement so the thing that you're supposed to show is a Lewis structure you're supposed to show this and this Right. Okay. Now, step number three, we have to write a nitrogen ground state. Okay, nitrogen have three and uh, five valence electron, and it come from period two. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so based on the Lewis structure, we need one lone pair, meaning that we have to keep this lone pair, and another three electron will undergo overlapping. Okay, so because of that, there is no electron excite in this uh, orbital diagram, but we still have to excite this orbital diagram in order to make sure that the energy level are equal and excited state. And lastly, we need to hybridize it. Means that we blend all the orbital together and become sp3. Okay. This is for the central atom. It will overlap with hydrogen. So we draw hydrogen ground state. So now, the step number four is to draw an orbital overlapping. So for sp3, the shape supposed to be tetrahedral. So we have one, one, two, three. We have to label each lobe sp3. This represents atom nitrogen, so we have to label. And each lobe have one electron, and lone pair supposed to be here. Okay. Each orbital, oh sorry, each orbital will overlap with hydrogen that represent one s. And each orbital brings one electron. The overlapping will form a sigma bond, sigma bond, and sigma bond. Okay, so the difference between a molecule with all bonding, all bonding pair or that contain a lone pair is 
if all are bonding pair, you have to consider the number of sigma bond only. If you have a combination between bonding pair and lone pair, you have to consider both. The total of the lone pair and the bonding pair will be used to determine the hybridization. Right? So that's all. Thank you very much.